So when you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Uh, now that I have a, uh, a curve tracer, I want to trace all kinds of things out that I haven't traced before. So we're going to trace some uh, 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 different types of things that emit light. We have a uh, any any two uh, neon light bulb. We have a little incandescent bulb here, like you would find in the front panel of an instrument. And we have a really cute little uh, a Nixie tube. Uh, this is a number two, NH2, whatever that acrylic character is. Looks like NH2 to me, oh, backwards N. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a, a cute little Russian tube. I haven't seen these before. I have, jeez, uh, almost threw that on the floor. Uh, I've got some big ones. Uh, I don't know if these are made by Burroughs or, I don't know, I've got some of these big ones that are nice, but I've never seen this little cute one. And uh, I want to I want to do something with these. So anyway, yeah, let's go over to the uh, curve tracer and see what these things look like. All right, so we have the uh, the little mic little Nixie tube in here, and I have it set to 20 volts per division and one milliamp per division. So this is 100 volts. It's going to start somewhere after that. 120. Oh, we're starting to see a little thing there. 120 is right there. Let's take it up to three milliamps. That's a nice brightness. Three milliamps is right at 130 volts. So, um, yeah. Number three. Very nice. And the numbers go in the in the order. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero, or eight, nine, zero, um, on the tube. So that's kind of nice. All right. I don't know if all Nixies have the right numbering on the pinouts. I don't remember. Anyway, this little one's real cute. Okay, now we have the little light bulb in there. I'm not quite sure what the voltage of this light bulb is. Uh, I don't remember what I took it out of, but um, we'll take a look here. I have it set to one volt per division and five milliamps per division. So when it starts out, it's basically going almost straight up. So here's five milliamps. So we have a very, very uh, straight line. And so that's a very, very low resistance. Um, here is 10 milliamps. And if you've noticed, it's starting to bend over a little bit, right? So let's go about here. So we'll do a quick calculation and we'll do, um, this would be half of a volt. Yeah, 0.5 volts. And we have um, five, seven milliamps, seven milliamps. So we're looking at about a 71 ohm resistor. That's about what a 71 ohm resistor is. Now let's take it up in voltage because it's not lit up yet, right? And oh, if you notice, as I go up, the resistance is going up as well. So this is uh, a positive coefficient. You add more voltage and the resistance goes up. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at this. We can do a calculation here, all right? We have one to two and a half volts. Okay, two and a half volts. And we're at five, 10, 15, 20 milliamps. Uh, we're at 125 ohms here. So we started out at, at, uh, at about 71 ohms, and now we're up here around 125 ohms. Let's keep going. We haven't lit, oh, it's just starting to light up now. Right around five volts, it's, it's lit, lighting up. And it's going up, it's fairly well lit now, which is around seven volts. It's pretty bright right now. Let's, uh, let's stop it right there. We're at uh, eight volts, okay? So we'll do eight volts. And we're at five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 33, 35, 38, 38 milliamps. So we're at 210 ohms. So we've gone from 71 ohms to 210 ohms as we light up the LED, so, I mean, as we light up the incandescent lamp. So I've never seen it demoed this way before. Uh, I've known about this relationship in incandescent lamps, but I've never seen it, it, it uh, shown so visually on, a, uh, on an instrument before. So that, that's pretty cool. You can almost kind of remember that arc that it takes there, right? We could graph that, but this kind of this arc that it takes. Um, and then we, when we light it up, right? So a lot of times these are used to uh, stabilize voltages. If you have 
uh, more voltage, then the resistance goes up and that can stabilize things. Sometimes in a, a wine bridge oscillator, um, although some people debate that the light bulb in a wine, wine bridge oscillator is really to get it going in the first place. You need a, a low a low current to kick the oscillator and going, and then once it starts up, you can run it at a lower, uh, a lower current level. But uh, yeah, there you go. All right, now we're gonna take a look at my favorite. This is just a neon bulb. This is an NE2, an NE2 neon bulb, so very, very standard. And we need to go back to high voltage mode here. We'll go to uh, the 350 volt range and put in some resistance. Uh, we'll set the um, uh, voltage here, let's say to 50, and we'll set this to, we'll say, 1 milliamp per division, and uh, we can, oh, and we see it turn on there. You see it, you see it turn on? All right, so now we can kind of zoom in on that. All right, so. Uh, let's see, 10 volts. So this is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So right at about 90 volts, it kicks on and the uh, plasma is starting to be generated and we're getting a uh, current draw once the plasma uh, arcs. And the sustaining voltage is around 58 volts, all right? So that's what this, uh, that's what this is showing us here. Now, what's really cool is just watch this. We're, we're putting in DC, so only one of the two electrodes of the, uh, of the uh, device is lighting, okay? So now we're gonna put it into AC mode, and we'll be able to put in plus and minus voltages, okay? And uh, we need to have a bit more room to do things in and there we go we're starting to see it in the positive direction okay one of the electrodes is lit but just a little bit farther than the other one lights up okay and so we can see we're, we're doing ac and we're seeing both electrodes lit up now uh, the right electrode and the le left electrode and so i've never seen that graph before i've never seen an, in a, a neon light bulb uh, graft in such a way where we have this wonderful thing. We have about, uh, let's see, we're 20, yeah, we're at about 60 volts in both directions, about minus 60 volts and plus 60 volts. Both electrodes are lighting up. All right, a uh, quick video. I thought, uh, thought you'd enjoy looking at various things on a curve tracer. Maybe you haven't seen before. I know I haven't seen them. It's uh, all totally new to me, so uh, had a good time.